Good morning friends. International Day of Neutrality is being observed on the 12th day of December. The day was officially declared in a resolution passed by UN General Assembly in February 2017 and was first celebrated in December the same year. The United Nations General Assembly on the second day of February 2017 adopted the resolution introduced by Turkmenistan to make 12 December the day of neutrality. Turkmenistan was a permanently neutral state since 12 December 1995. and recognizing it as a neutral state by the united nations was the occasion the idea has been within the core function of the united nations such as promoting the use of preventive diplomacy and recognizing national policies of neutrality strengthening peace and security at the global level was the overall purpose of the day as well the day advocates and campaigns for mutually beneficial and friendly relations between countries to be in neutral state means not taking sides in times of conflict or war it promotes such a utopian world of peace being neutral would mean refusing to make a judgment between who is wrong and who is right it assumes legal and moral neutrality between oppressors and their victims it places them on equal footing Refusing to take sides or remaining neutral ratifies the rule of the strongest. Being neutral again would imply being not engaged on either side, not aligned with an ideological grouping, not decided or pronounced as to characteristics, being indifferent etc Traditionally the law of neutrality meant enabling non-aggressive states to maintain peaceful relations with aggressive parties involved in armed conflict and continue trading without participating in hostilities This impartiality has to be honored by the aggressive party too Switzerland is a great example of neutrality which chose to remain neutral during both world wars This is the first country to declare permanent status of neutrality in 1815 As a result Thousands of refugees have found a safe haven in this country over the years. Neutrality is a powerful tool in the hands of the United Nations for securing cooperation and confidence from its member states. Neutrality helps countries to remain independent. and operate effectively The United Nations facilitates countries to maintain friendly ties between countries in the regional and global levels Prevention of conflict negotiation mediation employing special envoys consultations and development activities are some of the measures 
deployed for neutrality neutrality is a legal status arising from the abstention of a state from all participation in a war between other states it is the maintenance of an attitude of impartiality toward the violating party or parties article 2 of the un charter obligates the member states to settle their international disputes by peaceful means and to refrain from the threat or the use of force in their relations in the wake of political tension and escalating crisis it's greatly important to uphold principles of sovereignty and sovereign equality of states territorial integrity self determination and non intervention in the internal affairs of any state the policy of neutrality contributes to strengthening peace and security in relevant regions and at the global level it plays a vital role in developing peaceful friendly and mutually useful relations between the countries of the world neutrality serves a platform for peaceful negotiations along with prevention of conflicts informal consultations fact finding missions and targeted developmental activities therefore the good offices of the secretary general of the united nations are geared towards peace making peace keeping and peace building countries with a status of neutrality are in a higher position in playing an effective role in the coordination of extending humanitarian assistance on an emergency level during situations of complex emergencies and natural disasters the united nations cooperates closely with neutral states in view of implementing principles of preventive diplomacy along with mediation activities preventive diplomacy is all about taking diplomatic action for preventing disputes from escalating into conflicts and for limiting the spread of conflicts when they occur it's a commitment to a culture of prevention rather than that of reaction preventive diplomacy further engages in wise in crisis areas or crisis prone areas who facilitate dialogue compromise and peaceful resolution of tensions it includes private as well as public sectors efforts for mediation take their course leading to negotiations in inter and intra state conflicts is done before conflicts escalate into armed conflicts and violence staff assistance and advice are provided along with the required logistical and financial resources the united nations ever since its inception has been engaged in peace making efforts it negotiated several long standing armed conflicts along with the cold war towards settlements it continues this peace mission in partnership with regional organizations in view of ending ongoing conflicts as well as preventing new crises from emerging or escalating on the occasion of international day of neutrality 2023 
on behalf of Institute of Harmony and Peace Studies New Delhi I wish to make a strong appeal to my fellow humans in India and world over let us make the best out of the policy of neutrality in moments of conflicts wars and tensions let us also become active agents of peace and reconciliation when trouble shoot up in view of making a harmonious and peaceful society thank you